know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. Turn off the ignition. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the rear brake pads on your vehicle, you must first lift the rear of your vehicle and remove the wheels to gain full access. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, racing your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Before starting, loosen the handbrake, otherwise you will not be able to complete the operation. Using a flathead screwdriver, lift the holding spring on the pads, then take it out. Make sure you keep a finger on the spring during the operation to avoid it jumping out. On the passenger side, you should now remove the wiring for the brake pad wear sensors using needle nose pliers. You will have to replace this wire every time you change the pads. Using a thin flathead screwdriver, remove the caps covering the caliper mounting bolts. Using a socket wrench and a 7mm Allen socket under the two caliper mounting bolts. Remove the brake caliper by levering it off with a flathead screwdriver. You can now remove the pads. Push in the piston. To do this, you can use a clamp or lever it with a large flathead screwdriver. For this vehicle, a brake pad piston spreader is not needed. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension. Insert a thin flathead screwdriver that can slip in between the two sides of the disc. Using a socket wrench and a 6mm Allen socket, undo the screw that holds the disc. Withdraw the screwdriver. Using a socket wrench and a 16mm socket, unscrew the two holding screws on the brake caliper mount. Depending on the state of the nuts on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. To save time, finish the removal by hand. Take off the brake caliper mount. Take the disc off. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. You have to clean the hub with a wire brush. Coat it with copper grease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Using a wire brush, clean the brake caliper mount on the area of the pads. This will make it easier to put them back in place. Before putting the new disc in place, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Place the new disc onto the hub. Screw it back in. Put the brake caliper mount back on, screwing by hand to begin with. And finishing with a socket wrench and a 16mm socket to fix it completely. Reuse the screwdriver technique to stop the rotation of the disc. This will allow you to fully tighten the fastening screws of said disc. Grease the housing where the pads slide. Remove the brake caliper and put the pad on the piston side in the brake caliper. Then the other one in the brake caliper mount. Put the brake caliper in place on the brake caliper mount, pushing it in as far as possible. Rescrew the caliper mounting bolts, ensuring that they're properly in their positions.
finish the tightening with a socket wrench and a 7mm Allen socket. Make sure it is well tightened. Put the caps back in place, clipping them in as you do so. Don't forget to withdraw the electric cable or string that you attach to hold the caliper. Put the holding springs on the pads back in place. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. You now have to replace the wiring on the brake pad wear sensor. Detach the wiring from its clips on the connection box. Open the box and remove the two plugs to have better access. You can now unplug the brake pad wear sensor by pulling on it firmly. Take your new sensor that is provided with the pads. Connect it, then reinsert it into the two plugs in the box. Pass the wiring through the clips again. Then reconnect the pad to the sensor. Ensure that the spring is fully inserted into the hole. You can use a hammer to help you. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful, before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.